Okay, here we are for the second installment in my Python series. And we have Python installed, as you can see, on the command prompt. But we're going to take a look at the Wing IDE, which I do have right here. We're going to start it up. And we're going to take a look at Wing. Because I use Wing for just about everything Python related. It's very useful, it's very handy, it's very powerful, and we are going to uh, take another look at it. So here we are in Wing. First thing I'd like to do is check for updates, and we are good. Now if we take a look at the Python shell, we can see that the Python shell is right here. So if you want to restart the Python shell, all we do is Click an option on Python shell and restart. I don't need to be prompted and there we are. 2.7.10. It's the same Python that I have installed on my desktop. You can see the command prompt. And so there we are. And uh, we can type code in directly right here in the shell. There you go. There's a list. We don't have to say print, although we can. So that's the Python shell. So uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, starting a project. So new project. It's a generic project. Use the default Python executable, although we can use any Python executable we have installed, but this is the default. And we'll say save now. And I'm going to find a spot for it. We'll make it easier to use, easier to find. Make a little directory. And we will name it. And now we have a project. We're going to take a look at the project browser right here. And so let's add an existing directory, which is the directory I just created. There we go. The existing directory was always there. I just wanted to show you how you can add an existing directory. You can mix and match directories and files however you wish. It's very easy that way. So let's uh, let's create a file. Create a file. Call sample1.py. And now we have a file. So let's uh, let's type a little code. Now you can see it's indenting for me. And uh, Wing knows about things in Python. Underbar, underbar name, underbar, underbar. And so now when I execute this file directly, as opposed to importing it, we will get right here. So. And I am going to turn on line numbers, editor line numbers, because I like to see line numbers. And let's make this our currently debugged file. So 
that is main debug file right there. So now it's in red. I can set a breakpoint if I wish, but I'm just going to execute the file. Oh, there we go. And the debug IO says not imported. So that means this file is not being imported. Now if I want to test this, let's just create another file. Call it sample2. Now what happens if I import sample1? So now you can see Wing knows that I have sample1 and sample2. It also knows about the rest of the Python library and any other libraries that happen to be on my Python path. But for now, let's just take sample one. And I'm going to copy and paste a little code from sample one. And let's do this. And I'm going to go back to, well, let's make sample 2 in my current file. Set main debug file. And I will execute. And now it says sample 2 is not imported. But wait a second. What happened to sample 1? I imported sample 1. Well, let's do a little debugging here. So now we can see when sample 1 is being imported. And just in case it's not there, a little try catch around it, try accept. Import error. Let's make it detailed. of my typo. And now we're in sample 2 and let's just see. Execute. So begin sample 1 import, end sample 1 import, sample 2 not imported. And that makes sense. But let's just change something so that sample 1 cannot be imported. And before I do that I'm going to follow selection and follow current editor. So every time I click on a file, it will make it the currently edited file. So sample one, let's make this so it cannot be imported. We'll give it a runtime error. So this is division by zero. It doesn't necessarily make it not importable. Take that out. Uh, let's just change the name. So we don't have a sample 1A, but it's also going to throw an error because it can't import it. So now we can see cannot import because no module name sample 1A, which that proves the code. So let's put that back in and uh, Put a little else here. So we're just having fun with Python at this point. And then we can see, begin sample 1 imported, sample 1 has been imported, and sample 1 import, and we can see that it took this path right here. And so there's our 
first actual Python video. I want to keep these videos nice and short. I'll be digging deeper into Python as we go forward. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please feel free to support the channel. Subscribe. I invite you to subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on what's happening here. And please uh, like the video if you like it. If you didn't, you know what to do. And we'll catch you next time.